The CDC has set new isolation guidelines for COVID-19. The new recommendations cut quarantine time in half. The CDC now says anyone without symptoms can begin getting together with others just five days after a positive test instead of 10. Evan Lambert has more on these guidelines. We went from a fully negative staff, and we had our staff tested pretty regularly, to almost 90% of our staff testing positive uh, within, within a period of a week. From restaurants to healthcare and the airlines, businesses are taking big hits to staffing because of the Omicron variant and workers in isolation. Now they have a way to bring employees back faster. Monday, the CDC updating its guidance on isolation and quarantine for all, saying it's in line with science that most people are infectious the two days before and three days after developing symptoms. Here are the new guidelines. Everyone should isolate for five days, down from the previously recommended 10. If you no longer have symptoms after isolation, you can return to normal activities, but should wear a mask for five more days. And if you have a close contact with someone who is COVID positive, you can quarantine for five days instead of 10, unless you're boosted, and in that case, you don't need to quarantine. The move comes after pressure from airlines and other businesses. In a letter to the CDC, Delta's CEO said, quote, with the rapid spread of the Omicron variant, the 10-day isolation for those who are fully vaccinated may significantly impact our workforce and operations. We saw the results of that this weekend. Hundreds of flights canceled, stranding holiday travelers, in part due to the impact of Omicron on staffing. Outside the skies, similar stress has closed some of your favorite restaurants. We're dealing with a much more transmissible strain that has a larger impact on the business, but we don't have those backstops that we did before. And canceled Broadway shows and sports games. Many medical experts applauding the CDC slashing of the isolation period. But some say they wish the CDC would have recommended a negative rapid test before directing people to end isolation. Evan Lambert reporting. The CDC says reducing the quarantine time is warranted because research shows most people with COVID transmit the disease early on after infection.